we are at war with a very brutal enemy that needs to be defeated squarely. Along with sustained airstrikes, Israeli troops are now conducting raids across Gaza's border and staging for a larger ground offensive. We are operating in order to remove this threat once and for all from Israel. Friday morning, Israel dropped leaflets into northern Gaza, warning over one million civilians, leave while you can, head south to safety, while Hamas tells residents to stay put. But it's pretty clear that what they're trying to do is avoid civilian casualties and also separate Hamas from the human shields. Human shields, the U.S. says, made of civilians and hostages, including Americans. Israel has the right, indeed it has the obligation, to defend its people. We continue to discuss with Israel the importance of taking every possible precaution to avoid harming civilians. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Jordan and Qatar Friday, delicately negotiating for humanitarian channels and the release of hostages, while making it clear the U.S. supports Israel in its military objectives. Let's not lose sight of why this is happening. Israel is conducting operations in Gaza because Hamas carried out terrorist attacks it killed, in the most horrific ways, 1,300 of its people. They are going to pay for the price for the atrocities that they conducted against the people of Israel. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.